right now don't like literally ignore it i literally woke up and then i realized that i just felt inspired today i felt inspired to talk about today i'm gonna be talking about a story time girl i'm just giving you some tea as to one reason why i'm not dating right now and also another reason why i am celibate okay so before we even continue, guys, I'm Chantal Mermedia. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, oh, black, you are new here, you should totally subscribe. I do vlogs, I do lifestyle, and obviously I do some story times and also how, I guess I, I give advice as well. Advice that I should listen to sometimes. Today, I'm gonna talk about the time that I literally manifested multiple, multiple toxic people into my life in around like a year's period. Most toxic one out of them was a stalker and a psychopath. Um, honestly, I'm throwing shade, I'm throwing shade. Just imagine him as Chris Brown, but younger and fine. Girl, what the fuck is he talking about? You know me, I like a dry hair. Ooh, let me not give any identity. Now you might ask, how did you manifest these people? So, around that time, I feel like it was 2020 the beginning of corona like the first day where everything went south like new york city basically that was the first time we had lockdown um i was going through something crazy i was in an intense program i barely had friends um because like i barely hung out with my friends and i would literally not call them friends anymore because of that so hold up let me pop a zyrtec because i feel my freaking allergy is going crazy okay mm, mm. Mmm, delicious, yo. That was too good. Let's get the bell. So, bitch, let me tell you. I was desperate. I was desperate. I was like, oh my goodness, I need me a nigga right now. I want to be going to the movies with my man. I also, I also want to get gifts from my man. That's the reason why I want a man because I am broke. And I want someone to give me some money. You know what the universe gave me? somebody who is just like me except a lot worse that person was my twin flame a psycho a psychopath and you know what i manifested this person from a low vibrational state so now i'm like you know what i need to make sure that i fully love myself before i could actually date someone because that person didn't love me that person was obsessed with me did i love that person I don't think so. I think I was obsessed with that person, okay? We would break up and get back together so many times to a point where I was like, oh, you are me and I basically am you because I used to do that all the time and now it's happening to me. I'm going crazy because what the fuck? And after that, I broke up with him only a few times compared to how many times he broke up with me. And I was like, bitch, you are my twin flame. Oh my gosh. it got to a point i feel like he was like my shadow self he was like my shadow self if my shadow self did not have any self-awareness he helped me cover all of my childhood traumas all of my childhood issues okay i did not know that i could easily fall into a trap like that i did not know that anyone could easily manipulate me because of my own internal insecurities okay he really brought all of that out so i've been working on it i don't work on it intensely like my inner inner child issues i did but like i did a release a few weeks ago but i try to work on it slowly i try to work on it slowly but um what really helped me was like manifesting to get out because i saw look i saw people I saw the Queen of Cups in other people. I saw people being their higher self. Um, not their higher self, but I saw people being feminine beings, watching women like Aaliyah, Aaliyah face, watching women like Pixie Cuts. 
oh my gosh she helped me so much she helped me so much her videos like i would watch her videos i would take notes and after that every single day after watching her videos like i was at work when i was watching her videos i would actually implement these things into my life what she was saying she helped me so much and i put myself in this victimized state okay i'm not saying what that person did to me was okay but i allowed it to happen i'm talking about from my um experience because like i i was able to leave if i wanted to leave but i just stay but i had to pray to jesus and i had to get them out of here and jesus helped me god helped me and i want to say god i am so sorry that you know when things are good in my life sometimes i neglect you uh things are good right now and i'm just gonna say i am so grateful and so i'm so grateful for you three guys even though y'all hmm, y'all were a little messy but you know what you guys helped me you, you like my spirit guides helped me they were they were constantly telling me girl you need to leave but i didn't want to hear it i didn't want to hear it i love the law of assumption but i don't really like the law of attraction because i feel like it's so hard to deal with that sometimes like the, sometimes the law of assumption for me personally works better than the law of attraction but i feel like with the law of attraction it helps you maintain what you want or what you get because like you feel higher about yourself. So I feel like I did use the law of attraction to bring in negativity. And then once I started healing, okay, I actually manifested a good guy, two good guys, but then after that, like I just didn't feel worthy of myself. So I basically self-sabotage each time. Yeah, this was like a short time on how I manifested healing my crazy ex. And I just want to give you guys some info because i just felt like it also if you guys enjoyed this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe and i will see you again deuces